Hi everyone, it's Marianne and welcome to my Oasis Life. In this video, I'm going... Okay, baby. Now they're just watching your butt. Lay down. <laughs> so in this video, I'll be showing you three easy planted DIYs that you could do using items that you already have at home. Can I, can I film my video now? Can I film my video now? Thank you very much. That took a bit of coaxing my dog to get out. <laughs> All right, so the first one I'm going to show you is how I created this moss bowl for this new pet baby that I have, which is a Monstera Minima or Refredora Tetrasporma that I recently got from housemyshop.com. So it was two four inch plants that I put into this six inch pot. It's actually not in the terracotta, it's in a nursery pot because this terracotta doesn't have drainage holes in it and I created a moss bowl for it to climb up onto and I'm going to show you how I DIY'd this moss bowl. So if you already have the materials and pretty handy with tool, you can follow this tutorial from Garabella Plants Online's Instagram where I got this idea from. But I show you a much easier way. All you need is a nursery pot with drainage hole. And this bowl that came from a shoe rack that I already don't use and it's broken. It's the one very cheap shoe rack from Walmart. I can show you a picture here so you know which one I'm talking about. The good thing about this is extend. So if you need your moss bowl to be extended, you can do it very easily. And it also already comes with a screw at the end. So it's very easy to create this moss bowl and literally you can do it under a minute. So all you need to do is grab your nursery pot and choose the hole where you want the moss bowl to be standing on. It can be from the middle, it can be from the sides. I'm choosing it to go through the middle and I insert the screw at the bottom and that's pretty much it. I would just have to grab the pole and screw it very tightly together to make sure it is on the right side. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure it's probably secured so that it will hold up really well. What's great about this pole is that you don't have to lift your pot always by the nursery pot. You could lift it through the pole and it will be very secure because you had screwed it from the bottom. And you can see me here testing it out and it will be more secure once you pot it up with soil. But if you want, you could wrap it up with a moss or a cocoa coir beforehand. I'm using a cocoa coir that I have previously used in a planter. And after I roll it tightly, I am tying it up with a rubber band just to secure it. As I grab my chute cord, you could use a cotton cord too if you want. And start wrapping it around the cocoa coir very tightly, as tightly as I can. And as I go down the cocoa coir, once I reach the rubber band, I just pull it out or take it out and just continue wrapping the jute cord around the cocoa coir. And once I reach the bottom, it should be secure, but if you want to make sure, you can do another round like I did over here. And also just tightly wrap it around the top, and once you reach the top, just tie it tightly together and trim off any excess edges at the top as much as you want or however it would look aesthetically pleasing to you. And here I am just trimming off the excess cocoa core at the top. And here's what it looks like. There you go. And the next DIY project is a hanging wall planter. If you've seen my spring plant collection tour, you've seen this in the other bedroom and I've mentioned that I wanted to recreate this for my own bedroom. I have a large mirror hanging above my bed and I've been wanting to put plants on either side of it but I don't want to drill holes on my wall anymore. So this DIY project is great for renters who are not allowed to drill holes in their wall or if you just don't want to drill holes in your wall in general. This could be easily hanged using a small picture frame hanger that has a nail that's slightly bigger than a push pin. so by the time you need to take it down, the hole is going to be barely visible at all. And at the end of this tutorial, I can also show you a way to hang this without making any holes or punctures in your wall at all. So first, I'm repotting my android pothos into two separate plants into nursery pots that would fit the planter that I'm creating. And here are the materials that you're going to need for this project. I'm using a Chinese takeout container, but you could use any container that is lightweight, a pair of scissors, some macrame cord, a glue gun, and some glue sticks. 
You can go as simple or as creative as you want with the design of this planter. I'm putting the jute cord first because I have a minimal amount of it. So I'm just putting everything that I have on the planter now. And at the bottom, I'm making sure I am gluing everything down because it is at the bottom. But when it comes to wrapping the cord on the actual side of the container, I'm only gluing it on the same side of the container just to keep the look very clean. And I'm gluing it just to also make sure that the cords are very tight and there's no gaps in between the cord. But once I reach the top, I am gluing it on all sides but being very careful with the amount of glue I use so there's no glue sticking out. And when it comes to creating the handle, I am creating a loop from the bottom to the top. That way it's easier to glue it down and it's also a lot more secure than just putting a short cord on top for the handle. And I'm just kneeling down the picture frame hanger that I'm gonna use to hang this up and there you go it's very simple and easy to do and I love the way it looks Here's a couple that I previously made using just one type of macrame cord and to hang this without having to nail down anything in the wall, I'm using a command hook that could hold at least 3 pounds and it would be able to hold the planter really well. And the last DIY project is a grid propagation station which was a lot easier to make than expected and I really loved how it turned out. First you'll need some wire grid of some sort, I didn't know where I got this from but I think it was part of a laundry basket at one point, a wire hanger, some small glass containers, this used to be containers of my favorite spices from Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel and the umami seasoning, those are the best ones, to try them out, some glue sticks, a glue gun, a wire cutter, and a plier. So if you already have some coil wire, you could use that instead of the wire hanger. Just make sure it's the one that's a little bit thicker. And using the wire cutter, I am cutting 4 inch length of the wire from the wire hanger and I need 4 of them for this project. And after that, I'm taking the plier and about an inch down, I am bending it. When it takes a little bit of force but it's quite easy to do and I'm just bending it as much as I can. All the way down to create a hook and I'll need four of them as well. Next take your glass container make sure it's clean and dry and take one of the wire hooks that you created and then your glue gun and first apply a thin layer of glue on the glass probably about two to three inch from the top and make sure it's right in the middle and put the wire hanger on top of it just to secure it initially and then after that apply a liberal amount of glue stick to this especially on the top but make sure to not make it thick on where the hook is because you want to make sure it would still fit the wire grid and just place it all over and be very liberal with it because you want this to be very secure since you're putting water and cuttings on this you want to make sure it could hold the weight. You might have to hold the wire down for a few seconds just so it doesn't move while the glue sticks harden, but it should dry up pretty quickly. But do give it a few minutes to completely dry just to make sure that the wire hook is completely secured to the glass container. And once it's completely dry, you can then proceed to put the cuttings and water in each of the container. And once you put cuttings into the container, you could barely see the glue stick through the glass container, as you can see here. When filming this, I wasn't sure yet where I want this wire propagation station to go, so it was leaning on the wall but that is a very dangerous way to have it. It should be properly hanging on the wall to make it secure. 
So yeah, those are three easy DIYs that I did using items I already have at home. Hopefully that motivates you to recreate some of those DIYs or inspire you to come up with your own DIYs using items you already have at home. That's a great way to upcycle and also keep us busy during this quarantine. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe. I come up with house plans and sustainable lifestyle videos every week. And if you haven't yet, go check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you, I appreciate you, and have a plentiful day. Bye!